what's going on guys, Evan from Model3D and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I assembled the Anycubic Delta Rostock Castle Kit. You may have seen the unboxing video of this Castle Kit, I bought it for £240 on Amazon. Um, it came next day on a Sunday which was absolutely awesome. Um, this is the first time I've ever built a 3D printer so I wanted something to mess around with. I've always loved the way deltas look, um, especially when printing, so I wanted a delta to mess around with, to have fun with, to learn, to build, all that kind of stuff. I didn't want to just set up a camera into a time lapse because those kind of videos really bore me and I thought if they bore me they probably bore other people as well. Uh, so I kind of made an effort, used my nice uh, nifty 50 lens and use a low aperture and just basically set up every shot try to make it look a bit more interesting a bit more elaborate to watch the overall build didn't take too long it took about two days on and off um, the only issue I kind of came across was when I was uh, fitting the effector the effector is the part that um, fits around the hot end you'll see it coming up now it's basically a large plate um, the, all of the screws fitted fine into it but when I went to screw the fan duct on as you can see that's little square the opening there that way that's where the fan duct will be pointing um, the fan down directly to cool the filament well basically the screws didn't fit in the holes were too stripped out or too large for the screws um, but larger screws wouldn't fit in all that kind of stuff so I contacted the company any castle um, and they sent one straight out it took about two weeks to come but I just made do with the other one for now I've got to say the hardest part of this build has got to be the leveling of a build plate. Obviously it is not a physical adjustment like you can on the one head duplicator A3 or the Prusas or anything like that where you have a little screw to adjust the height of each side of the plate. This is just a sheet of glass and you have to change the height by a little screws on top of these plastic pieces here. Um, and then you have to go into the Arduino settings and change the um, effector settings, the effector leveling, uh, the z-axis offsets, uh, the, the delta smooth rod offsets, all that kind of stuff. It's absolutely crazy. I spent about a week going between tiny little tweaks of different settings. Went absolutely mad. I'm finally getting somewhere. It's still not perfect. It still needs a bit of tweaking. But I also found out that these rods, as you can see the carbon rods here, um, I have six altogether obviously two on each of the linear rails well where they were glued together where this little swivel head was glued into the carbon rod um, one of them is slightly longer than all the other five which makes it really really awkward to get it level so I'm gonna have to kind of try and find some new ones or um, try and tweak this one make my own or something just to get them all perfectly straight but yeah one of them's slightly longer than all the other five which is an absolute pain in the ass but overall I really enjoyed building this, like I said it was the first time I built anything like this before. Um, I've actually just ordered a original i3 Mark II Prusa, um, that comes as a kit as well so that should be here in about 4 weeks and I'll do a video like this on building that. But other than that I hope you liked the video, please make sure to click like button if you did, it shows me what content's liked on my channel. Maybe hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you in the next one. 